In this demonstration, I would like to demonstrate the benefit of SharePoint to project managers in any organization. So a project manager has just received a new project assignment and one of the first steps that the project managers would like to achieve is to create a collaborative space or a collaborative website. Now typically how this would transpire is a project manager would contact the IT department and have IT build a website for him or her. Now we all know how this can be a bottleneck. It may take days, it might take weeks, and sometimes if you're lucky you might get it right away. But nothing's more efficient if the project manager, him or herself, goes ahead and builds this collaborative space on their own. So with SharePoint, that's all possible without any specific or complex technical skills. So what the project manager can do, the project manager can go to their SharePoint environment. In this case, we see in the web browser, it's their PMO SharePoint environment. The PMO has a website, and this is in SharePoint. And this website allows any project managers, part of the organization, to create their own project website. So the project managers would just go ahead and select create. Sites and workspaces and essentially step through a wizard's base easy to follow screen to define this new website. So let's say the new project is to build a coffee shop in Manila, Philippines. The project manager gives the site a name and an address as well. So we'll call it MNL. And just like any other Microsoft product, it comes with a lot of ready-made templates. So you don't have to define this collaborative website from the ground up. So in this case, I will go ahead and select the team site template, which comes with a lot of the collaborative features needed in a typical project environment. And with permissions, I will limit it to only people that uh, I would want to make a part of this site and for the navigation I would like to make it unique as well to the site. So after I hit create the next screen shows us that it's building the site and after it builds the site what it's going to show us and ask us is who would I like to add to the site and this is quite powerful as well because access privileges has been a thorny issue in a typical organization. With this the project manager can define who will be a part of the site without IT's intervention. So we will involve the sales director to the site and we will involve the IT director as well. And after that I will click on OK and after I click OK, voila, the project site has been created. Now this is the out of the box SharePoint team site template. Obviously, you might want to change the look and feel, the color. However, right then and there, you can start using it. So let's say I want to add a new announcement. The project manager can easily add this new announcement. Welcome to our project site. All project artifacts. will be stored here. Okay. Now if you think about a typical project environment, a lot of documents are being sent back and forth via email, email communications, schedules, common contacts. So what's powerful about SharePoint is not only that it empowers the user without IT's intervention, but it's your one-stop shop, a central repository of information that's relevant in this case to the project. So let's say I want to add a calendar event and one of the first things as a project manager I like to do is schedule status meetings for the project and in fact this will be a regular occurrence, a weekly occurrence I will say make this a repeating event every week on Thursday and the meeting will last for 30 minutes between 8 to 8.30. I know you all like meetings just like I do, right? Okay, so now after I do that, notice that the status meeting has been scheduled. Now let me start showing you how powerful this tool can be. When I go to the project calendar, so it shows us in a calendar-like format with all the status meetings scheduled. 
not only can I interact with a calendar from within the website, I can connect it to Outlook. Now how many of you have seen a website being able to interact with Outlook? So when I connect it to Outlook, what will happen is my copy of my Microsoft Outlook will show up. And notice that the Manila Coffee Shop Project Calendar shows up in my copy of Microsoft Outlook as well. Now I have other calendars displayed because I have other SharePoint sites that I've linked the calendar to my copy of Outlook. So let me close all the other calendars. Let me just leave the Manila Cafe Coffee Shop calendar. Now, apart from being able to see, so let's scroll through the week, the dates. Notice that the status meeting that was placed, that the status meeting that was placed on the website shows up in my copy of Outlook. Well, not only that, I can easily come to Outlook and schedule a, another appointment or another event. So let's say brainstorming meeting. Okay, it's an all-day event on Friday. And let me hit save. Now, notice that I've added a calendar entry to the Manila Coffee Shop Project calendar in Outlook. Well, guess what? When I come back to the browser, I hit refresh. Oh, there it is it shows up on the website. Isn't that powerful? Just imagine how convenient this would be for all the project team members no matter what tool they use be it the web browser, their copy of Outlook and a lot of people synchronize their Outlook with their mobile devices like your Blackberry mobile, Windows mobile devices or even your iPhone. You can put in calendar entries in mobile devices which synchronizes with Outlook which Outlook will synchronize with the website. Isn't that something? Now one more feature or one more capability I would like to demonstrate is the ability to store project documents. Now every SharePoint site if you use the team site template creates a shared documents document library. This is a repository for you to store project in this case uh, project documents. So we should be familiar with how to upload files in the typical website so that's your typical up, outlo uh, upload tool. However, in SharePoint, they have special capabilities where, let me move this around a bit, they, it comes with what's called the Explorer View. And what the Explorer View allows me to do is literally take files from my Windows desktop. So I will open up some files. I'll go to my Project Files folder. So I'll take this Excel file. I will take this Word document and another Excel file. Now notice what I'm going to do. From Windows Explorer, I'll drag and drop these files onto the website. Now again, how many websites have you been to where you can drag and drop files to? The beauty of this feature is it minimizes the learning curve to your users. People should be familiar with drag and drop, and there we have it. Very, very powerful. Apart from the storage capability of this document repository, I can easily set up version control and I will demonstrate uh, briefly what versioning allows me to do so I enabled it and let's let's say I want to go ahead and update this Word document it's my change impact analysis template and when I clicked on the file from my document library it it's opened in um, Microsoft Word so let me say edit document and let me update this so let me say Manila coffee shop project change impact analysis worksheet now let's say that's all the change I'm going to do I'm going to select save after it's saved let me close it and once it's closed not only was the file saved onto the website directly again with the idea of central repository so we won't have multiple copies all over the place I can easily go and look at that file and select version history and there we have it it kept track of the changes that took place I can even open up the older version and as you can see this is the original version 
prior to the update and version 2 is the most recent updated version of this document called the change impact analysis document now again how powerful is this let's think through how we do things today prior to SharePoint our typical mode of collaboration is unfortunately via email or via some kind of network share but how do we keep track of versions effectively do we have to call IT to pull the backup up or do we have to scour through our email and look for prior versions with SharePoint it's very very convenient and not only that it's empowering because again notice everything I did from the ground up there wasn't any complex programming there wasn't any IT intervention IT has to set up certain parameters but I did it all by myself so with that I hope you can see the value of SharePoint and uh, enjoy the rest of the presentation.